Hello everyone, welcome back to Autonomous Meatbags. You're watching Police Notes, and I am a host Akil. It's weird, I don't normally start like that. <laughs> I haven't played this in a while. Um, but last I remember, we had to go to this... Well, it's not a Yakuza interview. It looks like it. This very much does remind me of a Yakuza si sigil. But, um, is it Tetsugawa Corporation? I think that's where we've gone to with our partner. Well, ex-partner. Look at all the trees they've got here. It's almost a small forest. Jonathan, these trees are privately owned. They all belong to Tokugawa. Pharmaceuticals, that's it. How do you know? All plants and beyond have control plates on them, since they're monitored by a computer. Oh. Really? Every plant on beyond has a control plate on it. That's sad. <laughs> this is the building's nameplate. It, is, it says Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals Research and Development Facility. It's written in Japanese too. Yeah, because Tokugawa is definitely not a Japanese name, Jonathan. Funny looking building. It's like some kind of palace or something. I've seen this design before in ancient Japanese architecture. Yep, it's as Japanese as it could be. It's could be. I'm pretty sure modern Japanese buildings would not look like this. They'd look very much like, you know, any regular building. Like, this just looks old, but new. <laughs> like, this is more stylistic than it is functional from the looks of it. This appears to be the front entrance. Hey, it's open. Let's go. Alright. Let's go inside. Hey dude, you a lazy creep? Officer or not? Yeah, that's the Let's not talk to him yet. This looks like a metal, you know, the Metal Gear Mark II from MGS4. It looks like that, just the front of it. A surveillance camera. Lately, they've been able to put security camera monitors on the computer control. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nothing. Just looking at cameras. Also, in our days, the cameras, the security cameras, don't really look like this anymore. There are a few that look like this, but only they're in that like black dome, and you can't actually see the lens. But if you look real close, you can see the lens, and they like put on walls or ceilings. This must be the lock system for the room. An ID card reader. Security must be tight. I know about ID cards. I played Metal Gear. <laughs> it looks like a research lab. It says DDS on the glass. I was about to make a Dance Dance Revolution joke, but it ends in S, not R. So, ooh. <laughs> what do you guys want? Shut up, man. We're just, we're just chilling. Just hold on. Look, a magnetic lock. The security level for this area must be higher than the others. Only the real eggheads get back here. What do you guys want? You just like, what the fuck do you want? Chill. This is an adventure game. We explore first and then we talk. What's, what does this say on your name tag? Who's, what's your name? What's your name? Sorry, I'm not using a mouse, so I have to sort of shuffle. It's a security booth. The security guard's sitting behind it. Terrific. Where's the cute girl? Jonathan, I think you should stop talking before you get yourself in trouble. After what you did on the spaceship with the waitress or air stewardess, I think you should just be quiet. <laughs> he must be the security guard here. He's a little short, but he's well built. He looks like the kind of guy who's done a martial art before. Look, this isn't a museum. We just have no respect for you, dude. <laughs> Michael Saito. It's a western name and an eastern name. Um, let's show you some stuff first. Yes, that's Mr. Hojo. The woman next to him is his wife. He has the same photo in his work area. What about him? This is you, isn't it? What does this have to do with Mr. Hojo? Well, I'm just saying Mr. Hojo's wife used to be my wife. So, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying that <laughs> she actually does resemble Mr. Hojo's wife a little. A little. It is her. I know that picture. Our president was one of the police knots, so we see it a lot. Okay, so one of the original group is heading up 
Tokugawa Institute or Pharmaceuticals. Man by the name of Kenzo Hojo does work here, correct? So, sorry, he's already talking. I'll shut up. ま、早い話がそういうこと。まあ、早い話がそういうこと。うちほどのグループになると、いろいろと妬まれたりするから。それで北条氏はいつから。それがもう3週間にもなるかな。いや、if this was the real world you would have to tell the police and the family what the hell's going on if he's been gone for three weeks. Also, I don't want to be a downer, but if anybody in your family or your friends has been gone for three weeks and no one has no idea what happened to them, they're most likely dead. I, I, I know that sounds horrible, but they're most likely dead. You have any idea what happened to Hoja? Well, he was a real workaholic. Maybe all the stress finally got to him. He was a ho he was holed up in here almost non-stop in the weeks before he disappeared. He could have gone back home. A lot of terrestrials do that. You mean return syndrome? It's called homesick. Don't don't bring up this weird terminology. He's just homesick. <laughs> That's when someone who can't cope with living on beyond anymore li leaves their family and is left behind and disappears to home. It happens a lot in our company since we have no so many Japanese employees. Japanese people can be like that. What does Hojo's job involve? He's head of DDS development here, and also the sales rep for DDS products. The latter involves distributing information to hospitals and doctors about new drugs developed here. Alright. How did Hojo see him before he disappeared? Anything unusual about him? He just finished work on a new pro product. Everything went well as far as I know. What's the DDS you mentioned? It stands for Drug Delivery System. DDS development looks at uh, new ways to deliver drugs. Before all drugs had to go through the process of absorption, distribution, met metabolism, and excretion. So then, what are you doing instead? It's like injecting something into you seems to be the, you know, most straightforward way of getting it in you. That meant only a small amount of the drug ever reached the target area. You with me so far? Somewhat. So the goal of any DDS product is to ensure the necessary amount of a drug's present in the target area at all times. You got all that? Not really. <laughs> they did this in the past through ribosmus or microspheres in the case of cancer drugs for instance, with their numerous side effects. This guy's a white walking a walking encyclopedia. Is he talking about um, chemotherapy? Where it's like they use different radioactive wave, waves to go through bo your body and only affect a certain part of your body. That's that's what I think it is. I'm gonna Wikipedia it later. There's probably an egghead watching this as like, no, this is what he means. And I would like it if you could shed light on what he means. What's this new product, product Hojo was working on? All I can tell you is it's the newest product in our DDS line. Sorry officers, but the rest is classified. There's a lot of competition in this industry, and I have a job to keep. Alright, I get it, I get it, you're a cool guy. What is it you guys do here? This is Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals, research, pharmaceuticals. research and development facility on beyond. That's a mouthful. Our main focus here is our DDS product work. The other area of interest is the factory where we manufacture drug samples. Okugawa Pharmaceuticals pioneered made in space drug development. We're now the world leader in pharmaceutical technology, with a track record that speaks for itself. We're one of the true colony age businesses. So they call this era the colony age. I'm getting a lot of Gundam vibes from this. <laughs> in um, Gundam Seed, it's called the Cosmic Era when humans finally start 
making colonies in outer space and then got like the original Gundam series is called the Universal Century Era. I suppose our Japanese management style is one of the reasons for our success. Him. Are you an actual Tokugawa employee or are you with a security company? I was originally assistant here, but with my physique, they decided to put me on security. I'm still an official employee. That's how I hold a certain level of knowledge about our operations. So you're not even a real security guard. You just sort of jacked. So they were like, hey, we know you're smart, but we just want you to sit on this desk. But I know things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you're broad, so you're on desk duty, dude. Fine. You can't call me an expert anymore, though. Yeah, that's all fucked. I would be mad if I was him. <laughs> Alright. Um, can I go? You wouldn't be able to force it open. It's the type of door you get with a walk-in safe. Whatever's back there must be important. Sorry, but you can't go back there, not without President Tokugawa's permission. Can I go in here? It's okay with you. DDS room no nakao misete moraitainda. Hojo no ashidori o sagurita. Tanon. Nanika tegakari ga aru kamoshirai. Anta ra mucha yuna. Mucha wa shouchi da. Koitsu no yu tori ni shita hou ga iizo. Kaette mendo ni na. Ma, matte kure. Mendo wa gomen da. Waru yo ni wa shinai. Maitta na. Maitta nara irete kure. DDS room dake nara kamawanai ga. Kaisha ni wa naisho ni shite kure yo. Ore wa Beyond nan da. Onna koto ga kaisha ni bareta ra. ここで働けなくなる。大丈夫だ。約束する。それじゃあロックを解除するから。Let's mean by I'm a beyond. DDS ルームだ。What was he born here? Or was he born in a on a? ママの状態だ。あんまり触らないでくれよ。Alright, dude. You still gonna be? You gonna just be here with me? You're a tubby guy. I don't. I wouldn't say you're built. It's more like you just sort of tubby. Is that your ID card? Every room in the building requires an ID. You can't get anywhere without one. Uh, I think this is to the Tokugawa emblem. Even his uniform's got the Tokugawa logo on it. You see this everywhere you go here. Everybody knows it. He's got piercing eyes and a square jaw. He's an intimidating camera. I mean, character. <laughs> camera. This camera is really intimidating. Definitely not the kind of face you'd want running a business. I don't know. That's. That seems like you'd want a boss or a business person to look intimidating so that employees would sort of stay in line, even if they're a nice person. Like, my boss has a sort of a mean face. So, he's even more intimidating when he stands up. What is it? Uh, no, nothing. It's just the same, same old shit. <laughs> Stop staring at me, dude. It's a wall video phone. It isn't connected to an outside line for, for security reasons. So it's the internet. It's only for people in the building because the building's built slightly gigantic and they need a call between each other. It's basically an intranet, if you guys know what that is. An intranet is like an internet, but only for a closed network. It's the same thing, but with a phone in this. It keeps out, well, prying eyes and potential hacking. You can still get hacked though. As a partition. When DDS development first started, this area was quite big. Each K-series product had its own team. I'm guessing they moved dev over to other products. These were used to separate them. This plate is holograms of various K-series products. They're all Mr. Hojo's work. Um, what's this? A6 is the DDS where the drug is absorbed through the buccal mucous membranes. Mucous membranes? Ah, oh, my mucous membranes! Mucus is like your nose, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure mucus is from your nose. K5 is a DDS that takes the form of a patch, so it's like a um, tobacco patch. It uses a transdermal delivery system where the drug is absorbed through the skin. So it's like ordinary electroporation. <laughs> Did 
The advantage of a transdermal system is you can supply the drug for several weeks with one application. Okay. So, nose, skin. K3 is a DDS that mimics contact lenses. Eyes. They use a transmusocal delivery system where the drug is absorbed through the ocular mucous membranes. Stop saying membranes, you gross guy. That one is a little different from the others. It looks like a mosquito. That's a, yeah, a mosquito. A mosquito type macro machine that, I mean, a nano. <sighs> Kojima, you, you had nano machines on your brain even back here. Really, man? <laughs> that we tried to use for administering injections. The medical establishment fiercely opposed it, however, so right however. So right now it's only used for drawing blood in certain cases. What's the blank space for? That's reserved for K9. We haven't revealed it to the public yet. We're still gathering data at the moment. I think um the plant that we have is part of the K series. Possibly. That's Mr. Oh, he so he was gonna work in K9 on Wednesday. Oh, so it's been a few days since the last time. A hundred sets of the K9 drug. BCCH. What are we going to do next? Oh, you said Kojima was going to make this one? So they like use people as guinea pigs on it? <laughs> I don't believe you. I believe you use people as guinea pigs without that knowledge. So they're Fine. This this picture frame looks really out of place. He's got a 2D photo here. Mr. Hojo is always keeping photos of his family around. That's unusual for a Japanese in the workplace. That's his wife next to him. He talked about her a lot. This is the same photo Lorraine gave me. As you can probably tell, Mr. Hojo was a jealous guy. He was very protective of his wife. Well, he stole her from me, so I'm just saying. Kenzo Hojo. He was like a down to earth guy. I don't know if he was. Lorraine. That's Miss, that's Miss Hojo. Miss Hojo. Uh, what do we have here? We've got a lot of different machines here. Just what you expect for a place like this. Mr. Hojo used these in his research. I don't know what's, what's what to tell you the truth. There's a master slave manipulator too. These cost a lot of money. Sure do. Nothing but the latest and greatest. It's not easy getting your hands on this stuff. What's this? That's Tokugawa Group's network terminal. It's called Tiger 99. All computers in a group are connected via network. It's used by employees for correspondence and what? You mean the internet? <laughs> it's a special type of hardware not available to the public. You mean the internet? If this wasn't connected to the network, it'd be totally useless. You mean a shitty internet terminal? Okay. Gotcha. Finished? Yeah. Dude, like, get off of my ass. Hold on, what is that? That looks like the facility floors, the facility's floor map. As a rule, we don't discuss details of our floor plan with anyone outside the company. Alright, dude. Alright. Alright, I'll leave. Ooh, okay, the back room. Are we going to the back room? Can't go in there, even if you are with the police. It's a different story from the DDS room. Don't even ask. Alright, dude. 
Back there is a factory where we make samples of new products. I can't let you inside. Alright. That's the second floor walkway. It's probably used for giving tours or for the guards to move about. The place feels like a military base with this layout. Let's talk to you. There. What do you want to know? Did he appear worried about anything? If he was worried about anything, I'd say it would be his daughter more than his work. His daughter? So according to the whiteboard, Hojo on the 15th of last month went to what was it again? BCCH. Yeah, that's it. He went to BCCH, right? I think that probably means beyond something something hospital. Beyond Central City Hospital? I don't know. He left just after lunch and never came back. That's the last time I ever saw him. But we know Hojo went to BCCH that day. Hopefully we can pick up the trail there. He said she was very ill, that she needed a bone marrow transplant, something like that. Her name's Karen. He said drugs couldn't cure her. Cool irony for him. So, Lorraine's daughter has an illness? Okay. BCCH stands for Beyond Coast Central Hospital. I was only one off. <laughs> it's the biggest hospital on Beyond, making it the biggest single market for us. Yeah, I'm familiar with it myself. Several of our employees work there. We have a very close relationship. We get most of our product data from them. Please, if I told you anything, my job would be the least of my worries. Alright. Let's get Hojo's address. Okay. Where does Hojo live? The most exclusive area of Tokugawa Hills. You can't miss it. Huge place at the end. Tokugawa Hills, huh? That's a high-priced residential area. A lot of Japanese live there. All Tokugawa-related information protected by law, right? I think anyone desperate enough could get hold of an address. Well, it's not like I didn't have a clue where he might live. It's just better to get their permission. Alright. See ya. ジュンさん。いいか。くれぐれも会社には内緒にしてくれよ。ショー。ショー。少しでも見えるよ。分かってる。He's Let's do this! Hopefully meet his daughter. Doshita, Yonasan. Kinga Smanai. Fureta I can I no come ashrena. Jonasan. Mo katashiot kundunda. Kitaisanai. Ha. Saketewa torem. Bagatter. Ho joke. Lorraine. All right, you're creeping on your ex-wife's house. ここがホジョケラジー。ここにロレインが娘のカレンがいるはずだ。彼女に話を聞こう。ジョナサン、娘のカレンはBBCの人気キャスターだ。カレンホジョ。聞いたことがあるだろ。ロレインがそんなこと言ってたな。ニュースキャスター。もしよ。彼女はロレインの生き写しだ。ロレインの娘か。いいな、ジョナサン。30年も経っているんだ。I know, I know. お前にとっては3
We can't see inside of it. We can't see inside for the adjustable glass. Of the colony shaped like a cylinder, normally both neighbors are able to see inside your house. It's one of Beyond's biggest problems. Yeah, that would be annoying. Look at all the windows they have. This place faces the central axis. It must have a nice view. You wouldn't normally have so many windows. Okie dokie. The front door. There's a doorbell next to it. They've got a security camera too. Let's go inside. BCP no mono des. Chotto o hana shou kagaitai no desu ka. BCP. Chotto matte kudasai. Security o kaiju shimasu kara. ID o kamera ni mukete kudasai. Kou kana? Ooh. Definitely a looker. Doreen. Ya. Karen san? Eh. Karen hojo desu. Anata wa? Yeah, I boned your mom. So how are you doing? Whoa. Wow. That took a turn. Karen sa. So na kiwanai. Ore wata. Chikyu de Lorraine. Kimi no hahaoya ni tanomareta. Chichio ya o sagashi dashi de hoshi. あなたに会いに行ったばっかりにどうして父や母がどうしてなのあなたよジョナサン・イングラムいつもあなたが原因よ。You don't You got some big ass lips, dude. Big ass lips. ジョナさんの同様君のお母さんの古い友人だジョナさんがロレインや君たちを苦しめるなんてとんでもない俺はこいつと古い付き合いだこいつのロレインへの気持ちは誰よりも知っている知ってるわ母さんもあなたのことを